Well, I'll tell you what, I got my feet wet getting out here, but usually this is a pretty hot spot. Right below the rapids, where the river starts to smooth out again, there's always a pool, big pile of foam, and those walleyes usually hang under that foam because the minnows retreat there. So let's try it. Like I said, they're under that foam. I don't know how big, but he's a nice fish. Oh yeah, nice old walleye. Let him go anyways. I'm gonna go back for another one. Yeah, my partner's over there catching fish too. Letting the pike go. Yeah, that my partner's got a good walleye over there. Look at that. Yeah, that's a dandy. <laughs> Another nice walleye. Well, I tell you folks, below these rapids can produce a lot of fish. Sometimes they're big ones, but there's a lot of two to three, three and a half pound fish in this, this area. You ought to try it the next time you, you get on, the, on a river system like this. Get below the rapids, fish the little eddies on either side, and where the foam is, there's a lot of fish in them. There we go, we got another one going. He's a good one. All right. He hit a chartreuse nasty crab, that one did. Yeah. I'll get him down here. Come here, baby. Ah, come here. Pick you right out of the water then. Those are nice walleyes, folks. I don't care where you fish. Look at that. one out in that fast water. You know, there's another spot that you can look at. You see that real white water right down there? And there's sort of a turmoil? Well, those fish will come up right underneath that real white water, and they find a holding area right underneath it. And uh, that's where this fish came out of. Ah, man, I get down my knees to land them. These rocks are kind of hard. Come on, walleye. I'm gonna let you go anyways. He came out of that real fast water, right underneath it. I cast my jig up underneath that stuff and let it just drift with it. We'll let him go. One of you folks can come up here one of these days and catch him. There you go. Oh my goodness, my other partner's got one on too. They're just one after another. Look at that. Oh my, look at that walleye. He's showing it to me, look at him. <laughs> Are you proud? <laughs> now that's about a five pound walleye. Look at that, that's a real conservationist there. You let five pounders go, that's not all bad, folks. I'm gonna try for one of those five pounders myself. I got another fish. This spot is awfully good. Remember, when you're working a river and you've got a rapids, on top of the rapids is good, but below the rapids is good. And look for the eddies right on either side of the white chute where the water, where the water comes back in around and there's a lot of foam. Wherever you find that foam, you'll find walleyes right on the edge of it. Here we come. Oh, 
my God, I snagged that dude right under the jaw. Look at that. No wonder he was fighting so strange. And he's a nice fish. Come here. He must have taken a, oh. He must have taken a swipe at it, and I got him hooked right under the jaw. Look at that. Snag. It's all right. I enjoyed him anyways. That's a nice fish. You try that spot next time you get below a rapids. You try it, look for the foam. Minnows are attracted by the foam, and that's the kind of fella you'll catch. We're gonna put him back so you can catch him someday. Well, we've given you a lot of tips, showed you a lot of walleyes, not all big, not all small, but we've had fun doing it. I hope you enjoy. But if you're looking for more tips on river fishing, how about picking up a copy of my new book, River Walleye Fishing. It's, a, it's got a lot more tips in it. It sells for about $7.95. You can mail directly into us if you want. This has been Dan Gapen. I sure hope you enjoyed.